To find the formal charge for each element in CCl4, that's carbon tetrachloride, we have the Lewis structure here and this formula. So let's do this chlorine atom right here first. So chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. We'll subtract the unbonded valence electrons. These are the electrons that aren't involved in chemical bonds. They're lone pairs. We have two, four, six of those. And then we subtract one half of the bonded valence electrons. These are the valence electrons that are involved in a chemical bond. They're between the atoms. The line here, that shows that it's a chemical bond, and there are two valence electrons in this bond. So we have two of those, and we have seven minus six, that's one minus one, that gives us zero. So the formal charge on this chlorine atom is zero. All of these chlorine atoms attached to the carbon here, they're the same, they're identical. So they'll have the same formal charge. Next, let's do the carbon here at the center of the Lewis structure. Carbon, that's in group 14, sometimes called 4A. It has four valence electrons. We'll subtract the unbonded valence electrons. All of these electrons around the carbon are involved in chemical bonds. We don't have any unbonded valence electrons. And then we subtract one half of the bonded valence electrons. We have two, four, six, eight of those. Four minus zero minus four, that equals zero. So the formal charge on the carbon, that is zero. So all of our formal charges here are zero for the CCL4 Lewis structure. And we would expect the formal charges to be zero or very close to zero for the most favorable or likely Lewis structure. This is Dr. B with the formal charge for each element in carbon tetrachloride. Thanks for watching.